Hey, hi guys. Welcome to PCF. So in our previous class, we have seen the difference between the cluster index and non-cluster index. Today, so what is the advantage of index and the disadvantage of index? Okay. Advantage. Okay. So when we don't have the index, guys. Okay. When you, when we don't have the index. Okay. So let me. Uh, So when we don't have the index, okay, so it will be the heap structure, okay. So the structure name is heap, okay. When we have the index, that structure name is B tree structure. Otherwise, it's a balanced tree structure. We will call it as a balanced tree structure, right? So suppose, okay. So suppose you have an index, okay. You have index on a table, okay. So just fill that, okay. So so we'll see the insert, okay. When insert how it will work. Then after update, okay, update how it will work and delete, okay, and then select, okay. So when we have the heap structure, okay, when we have the heap structure, so insert performance, okay, how this perform means fast, okay. So this will be fast and this will be fast without index space, okay, with index only select sorry these are slow sorry with without index it will be slow sorry sorry without index it will be fast sorry i will give example guys okay you don't worry sorry okay you will don't worry so without index okay so this is without index okay so this is without index okay without index heap structure okay without index heap structure okay i will give a good example so you then you will not forget any uh, anymore okay so this is also fast and this is slow. Okay, select statement is slow without index. Okay, then with index. Okay, why I will give explanation. Okay, just I'm writing the point. Okay, with with index. Okay, with index. Okay, with index. This will be slow. And sometimes this will be slow. And sometimes this will be slow. But this will be fast. I think so then when we will go for a when we will go for a index, okay? When we will go for a index and when we will go for a, okay? This means this is the green, okay? This is the green status, okay? So we are good, okay? For without index. And this is bad, okay? Right? This is a bad. But when we have the index, okay? This part is bad and this part is good, right? So then when we will go for an index, okay? So let me uh, give an example, guys. Okay, let me give an example. Okay, when we'll go for an index and the, when we'll go, why this is, uh, why uh, this index, okay, when uh, without index, why this is fast? In, uh, insert, update, delete is fast. Okay, so let me give an example. Okay, suppose, uh, so there is a travel, okay, they are dumping the data. Okay, so what is index? Index means it will do the physical order of the data, right? So when they are dumping the data, so if there is any uh, index means you have to keep in order like, uh, so the kitchen someone will be in a, a kitchen room and bedroom someone will be in a bedroom and the hall someone will be in a hall, something like that. You will make a order. But so if you have a without index, then just he will dump here and then he will go. So his, his work is very fast, right? The insertion is very fast. Okay. Agree guys. So agree, right? So, so when we uh, unload the data, so there is no structure, something like that. So just to, they will unload it and then they will go. But if there is an index, index means you are creating a rules. Okay. So it's, it will, index means it will do the physical order of the data. Okay. Order means like suppose a kitchen, someone in kitchen and a uh, bedroom, someone in bedroom and uh, so hall, someone in hall, hall. Okay. Something like that you have to keep. Okay. So that means uh, it will take some time to insert the data in a order. Okay. It will take some time to insert the data in an order. Okay. But with index, okay, with index, select will be fast. Okay. So suppose uh, index is there, everything is order. Okay. So you can go there and then pick the data. So it, you will go, okay, everything is order. You can pick the data very fast. But update, okay, as I said yesterday. Okay, so for update, so if you go here, okay, uh, let me drop and recreate and then select it. So, so with primary key, we have created. 
okay with primary key we have created suppose if you were trying to update a so select star from pbl okay select star from pbl okay that then execute it okay so now it is in a physical order okay now it is in a physical order suppose so if i update where 12 so i want to update it a uh, some 12 to 40 okay 12 to 40 or 12 to 7 something like that okay so if i update update okay table and then table name okay update table name update table name set that id is equal to uh, id is equal to 14 where name is equal to common okay now execute it so it will update but it's small amount of data but it will update but not a problem the thing is so it will again order okay while updating also so earlier it was 14 okay earlier it was 12 now it is 14 so sorry 14 huh? so make it set to 12 okay so if it is 14 i, I make it to 7 something like that case okay where name is equal to where set id id is equal to 7 where name is equal to common okay so i'm setting that id to 7 okay so it's so again it will check the order okay so where earlier it was 14 now I want to insert, I want to update this into 18 means. So it will again, okay. So it will again search the order and then uh, go and it will keep the data there, okay. For updating also, for updating and deleting also, it will, uh, it will check the order, okay. It will check the order and then um, it will insert the data. So for update and delete, okay, it has to check the order and then delete and, and also, when we have so so here it's not a problem okay here it is not a problem but when you have a when you have a multiple keys okay suppose uh, non uh, non cluster index will have the multiple keys right so suppose if you update here in table so you have to update in the index also okay if you have a multiple index so you have to update update in multiple index also then the performance will be slow and when you delete it also okay when you delete uh, in uh, table also you have to update in suppose you have a, a more than 10 non cluster index per table okay so you have to update all this 10 um, um, you know all 10 uh, tables right uh, table and uh, indexes okay all 10 non cluster indexes okay the update and delete also will do the um, you know um, things in um, cluster indexes okay non cluster indexes so that is the reason it will be slow and also storage okay so for a cluster index it will not take any storage but if it is a non cluster index obviously it will take the storages right so it will take more storage more disk space okay that is also one of the disadvantage okay so one thing is so insertion updation will be fast this is a heap structure guys okay this is heap structure and this is oh uh, you know B tree structure, B tree are balanced tree structure. Okay. Then when to go what? Means when we have a OL, when we have the OL TP online transaction process, then you can go with the without index. And when you have a OL AP online analytical process, then you can go with the with index case. Okay. But in here also okay so even with uh, so if you see okay if you observe like stored procedures and coming uh, coming classes you will see the stored procedures and if you use the you know ssis package etl operation first they will drop the indexes okay if you observe any packages ssis packages and uh, sql stored procedures so while well inserting bulk data so first they will drop the index why because index will kill the performance Okay, index will, so it, we cannot able to load the data fast. So that is the reason we'll drop the index and after loading the data, we'll create the index. Okay, we'll create the index. Yes, try to understand. Okay, so even OLTP also will have the indexes, but less indexes, but mailing loading the data. So we'll drop the indexes and we'll 
after loading the data, we'll create the indexes. And OLTP, so it's only for analytics process, right? So we, are, we will um, very frequently, we'll, uh, so we'll not uh, no, insert or update, delete. We're not doing uh, more frequent the data, okay? Historical data will not touch to, ins okay, insert is will happen, so, okay, but update will not going to do and delete also. That is a historical data. Historical data is means we, we should do the analytics, okay? Analytics means we have to select the data, okay? Select the data means, so the selection should be fast. Selection should be fast. When we have the selection will be fast, okay? With the index selection will be fast, okay? Hope you understand. So when uh, we have the, when we have to use the cluster index, and when we don't have to use the, sorry, when we have to use the index and when we don't use the index. Okay, that is the, what is the advantage? What is the disadvantage of one day index? That is the oral of this class. Okay, guys, hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. So hope you like my video. Please share and subscribe my channel, guys. Okay, thank you.